Uh, I'm not watching this. this Kabi Lamy's comment section has gotten pretty brutal. Months. Fall off is Much crazy, your time is over bro, Love put the fries in the bag, all hell. of which have appeared in just the last few months. Why has this pretty likeable TikToker suddenly had his entire audience turn on him? Wow, well, judging months, by another comment crazy, reading, why did we make him the most followed the person on TikTok? Why did we? Chat, guys, people have been saying that a lot lately. We, we, who is we? Who is that? People are starting to think that he doesn't really deserve it. He gained 162 million followers by repeating a pretty simple- Oh dude, you followed a trend or you made a trend and you one trick ponied and and now it's not working anymore because there's exhaustion. Dude, you fell off. That's crazy, dude. Nah, why do we make this guy famous? These people are so stupid. Formula. I don't get it. Find ridiculous videos so of people stupid. exerting too much effort on the most basic tasks, then show you how oh, to this do is it me. in a what's, much what's easier way. Can't believe he got that big just from reacting to humans being dumb. Even Kabi Lamy himself stated, "My videos are simple and easy, but achieving a point of simplicity I was love actually that. very difficult." The he gained just, just nine all views and only which means two that followers during his first month on yeah. TikTok. Yeah which only grew to 4,300 after posting a crazy amount of volume. I was posting like six or seven videos a day. His main type of content, widely relatable skits. But they were limited by a language barrier as Kabi Lamy only spoke Italian. I don't understand what he's saying. Someone translate it, please. I love your videos, but can you please do them in English? Kabi therefore devised a simple solution. Only make videos where he didn't need to talk. He'd state the fact that it's not spoken makes it a universal language. Every kid, every person around yeah, the like world the, uh, can Lord see the videos. video and get a laugh simply by watching the images. Unfortunately, KB was now basically limited to mocking cringy videos, although this worked unbelievably well as he began to celebrate milestone after milestone. 300,000, 400,000, 600,000, whilst his ability to silently clown on others only got better and better. He'd begin taking already viral videos and add an unexpected stitch to make them even funnier, leading to his first properly viral video, roasting a girl for her non-existent haircut. KB's respect from the audience was building higher and higher, leading to a right, further 60 million views after roasting another TikToker Classic. for his strange shaving video. This then doubled to 130 million when he joke about a factory worker eating his chocolates. However, it'd be this video here that changed his life forever. Mocking the stupid life hack gained him 250 million views, repeated in another four videos, which followed a similar premise. Suddenly, every video was gaining at least 30 million views, whilst his moves were being copied by famous soccer players. Kabi was called the wisest man to ever live, as you say so much without saying anything. He'd celebrated a million mm. followers on the 22nd of February, which by the 23rd of May had grown to 50 million. Although with somebody calling this a big L for TikTok, there were people who weren't happy with Kabi Lamy's fame. Judging by 46.2 million followers for what, and 8.8 .8 million likes for what, people thought there was too much- This guy, this guy says, uh, for what? But dude, you're there and you're watching, you're commenting, like, for, for you. For for you, million followers for, for you, followers literally. For what? Like what and the fuck? And 8.8 million likes for what? People thought there was too much reward for too little effort, which can often turn into a person becoming hated. Take for example the Huck Tua girl. She's not disliked because she's a rude or terrible person. She's disliked because her success hasn't been earned. Without seeing his history on the platform, what? viewers might perceive Kabi in a similar way. As a low effort TikToker who makes 750,000 per post Burned. for holding out his hands in a 20 second video. The main joke is that Kabi gained over a hundred million followers and, and, and doing nothing. nothing. On the unpopular opinion subreddit, one user- If you make a product, quintessentially or not, that people want, want to consume, you have earned it. That's, 
I think that's the basis of it. Bro, Kabi Lami is boring, not funny, predictable, low effort, and famous just because he uses other people's content. 90% of his TikToks are low effort. He has a few quality vids, but that's it. He shouldn't deserve the recognition he's got right now. I really have nothing against the guy, just that there are some people who put real effort and can't get through, and I don't <laughs> think that's fair. Others didn't like him simply because they thought- Effort is, is irrelevant, it's useless. We can a fuck. You can have all the effort and all the all the all the tenacity and all the stamina of Nick Khan or whatever, but if, if people don't want to consume it, I don't want to tell you it's dog shit. People don't want it. But he wasn't funny. It hurts me because th these just aren't good, and he has so many likes. Honestly, I'm glad I'm not the only one who didn't find him that funny. But there's a much stranger reason that people began to hate him. Kabi posted a simple Instagram story, say no to racism, posted with a separate video in which he'd help a white person pull a sword out of the ground. It was captioned in a racist society, it's not enough to be non-racist. We must be anti-racist. But after this, Kabi made a brand new story. I'm seeing a lot of comments where people says, I unfollowed you because you did this video. I don't mind guys. We are almost in 2022 and people still use racism because they have nothing to do in their life. You can also unfollow me. I don't care about the numbers. I care about your hearts. This was followed by another post reading. Instead of wasting your time writing negative comments criticizing, try to help people. Although Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna just give you a flat, a, a fact. Okay, this is not some theory. It's a fact. Okay? People on TikTok don't give a fuck about anything. You think that these people that scroll through brain rot and they just, they, they just spam scroll give a fuck and they even saw or computed any of these, what is that? Uh, what, is that an uh, Instagram post or whatever? You think they, they computed any of that? Fuck no. People, although this controversy only ended <laughs> after fuck? being overshadowed by a brand new scandal, comments began to appear on his videos. I hope this man beats Charlie. Kabi's more talented than Charlie. I have a feeling that he might pass Charlie. Charlie D'Amelio was TikTok's most followed person, although Kabi was right behind her with only 4 million less. Charlie losing her title therefore became a possibility, resulting in a war between the two creators. People began cool. devising strategies to make Kabi the most followed. If you want to help, start commenting Kabi to number one on every video that you see on your FYP. Charlie's fans fought back, writing, There's no way people actually support Kabi Lami. He's literally racist and sexist. He body shames people. These we people all know damn well that drones, if Charlie man, did man. one of these things, her career would be over. A different video added. Wait, so he said what? He's literally racist and sexist. He body shames people. We all know damn well that if Charlie did one of these things, her career would be over. A different video added. So basically, Kabi did something so bad. He body shamed a girl. But what were these TikToks even talking about? Well, an account named Cancelling Kabi Lami re-uploaded one of his videos with the caption, Why is this man obsessed with body shaming girls? It showed three examples of Kabi reacting to women poorly, which was paired with another video of him joking about a dude's obesity. People then discovered Kabi telling women to wash the dishes, resulting in mainstream news articles and some pretty heavy backlash. Body shaming is so disgusting, ew. That's so rude, I can't believe he'd do that. As a result, Kabi lost 400,000 followers before the day was over, although people then recognized what was going on. They're canceling Kabi because he's gonna pass Charlie. Kabi therefore regained 1.5 million followers the very next day, ironically helping him become the most followed TikToker. Although Kabi Lami's reputation has been trending downwards ever since that day. Bro disappeared from my FYP after he became the most followed on TikTok. Ever since he passed Charlie, he's not been on my FYP, also being noticed by Noah Glenn Carter. Because he's basically done nothing since becoming number one. Like he never even made a video celebrating or acknowledging that he was now the number one most followed TikToker. And since becoming number Number one, he's posted once, maybe twice a week. As mentioned, Kabi went from making six or seven videos per day to basically never posting. He instead began to state, I want to make films. This is my main objective. I've wanted to make movies Me since so I was a child, respected. almost implying he was better than his TikTok audience. When he did post a video, it was often just an ad. Yeah, Kabi did promote- Can't imagine respect for this guy though. I actually mess respect that because he actually did what he, what he wanted to do. And he just makes decisions and actually just fight, just goes through with it. I respect that a lot. 
if you build something, you will have all the um, the power and you have the control if you want to throw it away. That's what I can find it. Oceans for Airbnb, I say people Google, Google Plus, even Facebook. And by disrespecting his audience with loads of different yeah, ads, no the to audience would that also lose whatever. respect for him. He used to be so famous. How did bro get forgotten? People started posting TikToks such as, maturing is realizing that Kabi Lami was never funny, and that whole race for him to Charlie was lame, as well as bro, can we all agree? Do it, do it. As you're posting this, what is that? Like brats dancing, filtered video, dog shit, like a like, like a fucking like like Swifty or whatever. This is odd. Like he's never funny. Fucking and insane. that whole race for him to Charlie was like lame. Whole... As well as bro, can we all agree that Kabi Lami wasn't even funny? We just wanted him to pass Charlie D'Amelio in followers, which on its own gained almost a million likes. I mean, sometimes he was low key funny, but it got old real quick. Hinting at Kabi's next problem. That's not as even far back as 2021. <laughs> people were already stating it's the same thing every single time. I know exactly what's gonna happen in each goddamn video. Honestly, Kabi's videos were funny at first, but the joke got old after a while. He was really funny at the start, but his joke is getting old. He never does anything else but these kind of videos. Well, now it's three years later and the joke still hasn't changed. His lack of changing content becomes a lack of growth for which the audience trashes him in comment after comment, but it's been especially bad recently. On the 14th of August, this person commented, Kabi always knows how to keep it simple and hilarious, but only two weeks later, the same person's now stating, just put the fries in the bag, bro. In the past, Kabi Lami stated, Of course, the people, they will always have found something bad to you. I think it's just part of the life. And turning his back on TikTok chat, has chat, def- I find it to be weird because people wanted, uh, it's almost like they want him to be the puppet that they, that they think you are when you do this shit. As in like, Ev the conclusions are all logical and what you should do with your career and all that whatever it's like oh my this guy actually does something he wants to do that's weird dude you're not following the the, the script your brother like this is so weird he had some benefits he'd appear in the recent bad boys movie is now a judge on italy's got talent and most notably he's about to release his own feature film called double o carby and even if this all flops Car all the goes to zero and it's all like garbage right it doesn't matter it's why it doesn't have to be successful anywhere else because that whole, oh dude, like you have to be successful or whatever, it's not even true. It's like, does that make sense? So it's, it, it, it's, it's only true for the intentions, oh dude, like, like it has to be successful, it has to be better. It doesn't have to.